Hello folks, this is Ted White and today I'm going to show you how to magnify zoom in CapCut PC or create a pop out zoom effect like you see here. Let's check it out. All right, folks. So the first thing I'm going to do today is import the file in which we'll be doing the editing with. So I'm just going to go to import and then from there, I'm going to select the clip and click open. And then I'm going to click on the clip, drag and drop it down to the timeline. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this clip and then I'm going to go up to the top and select copy. And then I'm going to click on the playhead and hold the click and drag it to the end of the original clip here. And then I'm going to right click and then select paste. And then I'm going to click on this pasted clip and drag it right beside the original. Okay. And then I'm going to click on the playhead, hold the click and drag it to the beginning of the original clip. I'm going to highlight the original clip and then I'm going to put it on full, the preview screen on full screen. And then I'm going to click play. And then as you can see, my cursor's at the top and I'm scrolling down and right about here is where I want to stop here. And I just want to show you that this is where I'm going to do the magnify zoom effect is this clip right here. And um, it's going to give a pop out zoom effect. So this is where I'm going to be honing in on. And what I'm going to do now is just move the, so I'm going to basically go back, scroll back a little bit. And then right when it stops scrolling down, right about here, uh, that's where I want the playhead to be. So I am going to minimize the screen. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make sure that this original clip is highlighted. And then I'm going to go to video and it's going to be video basic. And then you're going to go over to mask. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to select add mask and then it's automatically going to go to rectangle. And that's what we're going to use today. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get it in the general vicinity and then I'm going to click on this zoom icon right here, which zooms in on the preview screen. And I'm going to click on this cursor and drag it to the right a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click. So I'm going to put the hand and grab the blue rectangle. And what I'm going to do is just bring that more so to the middle of the screen. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on one of the four corner balls here and I'm going to click on it and hold the click and drag it in to minimize it, make it smaller. And then I'm going to move this over a little bit. And then I'm going to drag on this oval here, this vertical oval and drag this down a little bit and make it so that it's just about there. Okay. So that's where I want it to be. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to go down and make sure that this is highlighted once again. And I'm going to go under the video tab. I'm going to go to basic and then I'm going to scroll down to the very bottom where it says canvas and then it's going to say none. Okay. I'm going to click on none and I'm going to scroll down to color and then I'm going to scroll down here a bit. Now this may be minimized for you. Um, so you may have to maximize it to see all the colors. Okay. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click gold. All right. And then what I'm going to do, the next thing is I'm going to right click on this clip and then go up to create compound clip. And then the next step is I'm going to click on this clip, hold the click and drag it above the original clip here. Okay. And then the next thing I'm going to do is very similar to what we just did. So I'm going to go up to the video tab under video. I'm going to go over to mask and then I'm going to go to add mask and then it's going to go to rectangle from there. I'm just going to make this smaller. So I'm going to put it in the general vicinity, make it a little bit smaller 
and then I'm going to just go back to the zoom feature here and just zoom in a little bit more and then I'm going to grab this blue rectangle here and click on it hold the click and just put it somewhere in the middle of the screen so I'm zoomed in so that hopefully I can get this more accurate <laughs> uh, I struggle a little bit with this and getting it like perfect on every uh, corner here so just bear with me uh, you might be able to do a better job than me so I'm gonna click on this oval here and bring it down vertically so hold the click bring it down vertically and then try to make it so that it's somewhat even and then I'm gonna do the same here for horizontal so I'm gonna click on this oval and hold it oval handle whatever you want to call it and hold it and make it somewhat try to make it even um, on all fronts here so I'm just gonna click off of it and to me that looks good like that's as good as I'm gonna make a frame um, so <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I am going to right about there I'm gonna go so we have video mask it's on rectangle we've got our rectangle mask so I'm gonna scroll down a little bit and then for rounded corners it says zero I'm just gonna highlight that I'm gonna put 10 and enter and then for feather it says zero I'm gonna put 10 and enter okay and then if you click off it a little bit uh, you'll see this so it gives this effect which is pretty cool I think <laughs> personally um, so then I just want the right position so right after it start stop scrolling down notice how it's scrolling down and then right when it stops which is right about here I actually want to cut this part of the top so I'm just gonna make sure the tops highlighted I'm gonna click on the edge and I'm gonna hold the click and drag it until the playhead right here until the playhead turns blue I'm gonna release and that whole part has been cut so then what I'm gonna do is click on the playhead and hold the click and drag it until my mouse leaves and right before I start scrolling down so right about here okay I'm going to then so I'm going to release and then I'm going to click on the end edge and drag it left so hold the click drag it left until it meets the playhead and then release okay so that whole portion has been cut so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on this clip make sure that the overlay clip here is highlighted and then I'm gonna go to animation and I'm gonna go to fade in okay so and then it says duration here and fade in is 0.5 I'm actually gonna go I'm gonna highlight all that and just hit one second enter okay and then for out I'm just gonna to go to fade out and I'm going to change that to one second and enter okay so it gives a bit of a fade in fade out effect and then the next step I'm gonna do is I am going to right here so right after the fade in here wait after the fade in right after that one second ends I'm going to put my playhead right here and then what I'm gonna do is go to video and then basic and I'm gonna put a keyframe here for scale at a hundred percent and a keyframe for position at zero zero okay and then what I'm gonna do is I am going to on my keyboard put the right arrow here so I'm gonna hit the right arrow move 10 frames so I'm gonna hit it 10 times all right one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then what I'm gonna do is I am going to move the scale and make it bigger so I'm gonna put it at about one 
360. But one thing I do got to do before I do that is zoom back out on the preview screen because it's going to cause problems here. So I'm still zoomed in on the preview screen. I'm just going to zoom out. So I'm going to click on the zoom icon and I'm going to select the cursor here and drag it to the left until that it meets that vertical line, which means it's regular picture. So I'm zoomed back out, back out. And then I'm going to take this scale and I'm going to go to 175 and enter. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this. So it's more so like in the middle of the screen, kind of about right there. All right. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to drag this to the end. And I'm going to put, I'm just going to match the same keyframe. So I'm going to drag it so that it's at the rate where the um, start of the fade out animation. Okay. At the bottom here, as you can see right here. So I'm going to hit a keyframe here for 175 and I'm going to hit this so that it keeps the position. And then what I'm going to do is make sure this is highlighted. And then on my keyboard, I'm just gonna hit the left arrow 10 times, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. That's the left arrow. And then I'm gonna hit a keyframe here for 175 and hit a keyframe for the position of 400. But then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to this keyframe right here. So it automatically goes, if you, if you take the playhead, it'll automatically go to the center of the second keyframe. If you move it to your right and I am going to change that to 100 and then I'm going to change the position to zero and the Y position to zero and enter. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is right here. Actually, I'm going to bring the playhead to the first keyframe that we encounter on the top here. Okay. So I'm going to drag it. You can do it this way. It'll automatically hit the middle of the first keyframe. What I'm going to do there is I'm actually going to highlight the bottom clip here and under video, under basic, I'm going to go to blend. I'm going to hit opacity and select that. And I'm going to leave it at a hundred percent. And then I'm going to Take the playhead, move it to the right, and it'll automatically go in the middle of the keyframe at the top here. Okay. And then I'm going to click on the bottom and for opacity, I'm going to put 30. Enter. Okay. And then what I'm going to do now is highlight the top one, go to the right and then hit make sure it will automatically once you get close to it and then to the to this keyframe the next keyframe you will it'll automatically go in the middle of that keyframe i'm going to highlight the bottom clip again and then i'm going to hit the keyframe for 30 percent and then i'm going to just move this playhead to my right a little bit and it's automatically going to go right into the middle of this keyframe. And then I'm going to select the bottom clip again and go to 100 for opacity. Enter. Okay. And then I'm going to put this on full screen and I'm going to show you what this looks like. So I'm going to put this on full screen. We'll play the clip in its entirety and this will be how to magnify a zoom in CapCut PC. And it kind of gives a pop out zoom effect. So let's play it. All right, folks. So we added the border and everything, and that is how you do a magnify zoom in CapCut PC. I hope this tutorial helped you out folks and I hope you have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.